good morning my YouTube family. How is everyone this morning? I hope everyone has been having a fantastic week so far. Today is Thursday, September the 19th. Sorry, I had to check right quick. I'm on my way to work this morning. I'm not too far. And I wanted to uh, pop on right quick and let you guys know what I've been up to because I know it's been like super quiet. Uh, we have been working on the greenhouse. We have half of the pavers put in. So that's what we've been doing every evening when we get home from work is working on the greenhouse because first frost here is around the end of October, the 1st of November. So I've got to get the greenhouse done so I can put my outdoor plants up. I have somewhere to put them. So we've been doing that. So no sewing this week. I haven't had a chance to sit down at the sewing machine. Oh, I did, maybe. No, one day. Monday? Because I think it was rainy Monday. I, I might have sewed a little bit Monday, but I didn't film any of it because I was working on the Pajagi curtains. So I didn't film any of that. I just sat down and sewed. Um, and I wanted to let you guys know that occasionally I post in what's called the community section of YouTube. Where you can post photos, uh, you can make posts like you do on Facebook, so to speak. So if you if you didn't know about it, I wanted to make you aware that there is a community section to YouTube where you can make posts and things like that. And I do post there occasionally if I don't have time to make a video to let you guys know what I'm up to that I haven't just disappeared. Um, on our Winter's Kiss Sew Along, I have finished making the um, leg part. That one part that I was working on, I have finished all of those. And I'm ready to sew the next section together, which is the two, um, I think they're two and a half by four and a half inch strips, little rectangles. So I'm ready, I'm pretty sure they're two and a half by four and a half. So I'm ready to start stitching those together and then we're ready to start assembling our block. Yay! Yay! Um, I don't know that I'll get it finished before the end of September. We'll get this quilt top finished by then because we have other projects that are having to take precedence over the sewing. So I wanted to explain that to you guys and let you know what was going on. People just kill me the way they drive. This is the worst place I have ever seen for horrible drivers. But anyway, neither here nor there. So, uh, so yeah, that's what's been going on, and I'm also going to start, and I'm at least three weeks behind, or a month behind, I'm at least two to three weeks behind on To Be Loved by Korean, Korean, To Be Loved Treasures by Korean. I'll try to remember to put a link below. She is doing a slow stitched quilt. And I am going to be doing this with her because this sounds like something that is right up my alley. I actually went through my, I did take some time to go through some of my fabrics and I've started pulling fabrics out for this. And I did order um, some fabric, fat quarter bundle. I actually ordered two fat quarter bundles. Um, I had, it's either a fat eight or a junior layer cake, I'm not sure but it's called Whimsical Romance. And I had it, it had came in one of my sew sampler boxes. And this fabric came out in 2021. So I've had this three years and have never used it. And I think it would be perfect for this sew along that we're doing with Corinne. The fabrics are just beautiful. So I got online and I did a search to see, you know, this fabric's three years old. Can I find a fat quarter bundle of it? Absolutely, I did from Be Bella Rose Fabrics. Uh, I got a fat quarter bundle for 36 bucks plus tax and ended up ordering another fat quarter bundle that they had because I may end up using it on the back side because the quilt's going to be reversible. So, uh, so I got that and I got a few more other bits and pieces that I need to pull out decide on a color scheme that I'm going to use. I'm planning this one out. Like I am putting a lot of thought and a lot of effort into the planning of this slow stitch quilt that we're going to be doing. Uh, and I will be filming that. Um, when 
I have a chance to work on it. It's probably going, this is, you make a block a month for 12 months, and I'll explain. She can, you can watch her video where she explains it. Uh, I'm going to do a 12 inch block, so I'll only have 12 12 inch blocks, and I feel that that's all that I'm going to be able to accomplish um, per month. Like, it's per month. So, and I don't even know that I'm going to be able to. So, mine may, may last way longer than a year. And you know what? That's okay. There's nothing that says that I have to complete a project within a said time frame. I can take however long that I need to to complete a project. Come on, car. I thought you were going faster than that. There we go. Now, it's always a little trafficy right here at the airport. So, um, so yeah, that's the update. Um, what I've been up to, what we've been doing, where I've been. <laughs> and I'm planning on taking a really quick little video of where we're at in the progress, where we are at in the greenhouse, you know, the progress with putting together the greenhouse. And I wanted to film a step-by-step -step of putting together this Harbor Freight greenhouse. It has been such a pain in the booty that I gave up on that within like the first day. I'm like, this is, this is too much. It, it's, it, yeah, because I love it now that we're to the stage where we're finishing it. But the putting it together part has been ridiculous because the instructions are horrible. If you're thinking of buying one, I suggest that you get on YouTube and you watch every video that you can find about putting this thing together because that's what we did and then we still had some difficulty putting some of it together. Um, but I'm, I really like it and I think it's gonna be fabulous. I, I'm so excited, so, so excited. Okay, guys, well, I just wanted to hop on right quick, let you know what I've been up to, and wish you all a fabulous week. Um, may you be safe, be happy, spread some love and kindness wherever you go, and find at least three things to be grateful for each and every day. Sometimes it's hard, and we have to dig pretty deep. I know, I know. All right, guys, so I'll meet you either in the garden, the greenhouse, or in the sewing room. <laughs> we shall see. All right, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Wishing you all blessings, prosper, prosperity, and abundance. May they flow to you. May safety and protection wrap all around you. And, um, yeah, I'll meet you back here later. Ugh, sorry, that was a big bump. Bye for now.